In this part 2 video, we are exploring tips and techniques to become a great presenter, a great speaker. You know, with the part 1 video, we have explored what causes the fear of public speaking and how to overcome them. We said overcoming the fear alone won't make you a great speaker or presenter. If you need to familiarize yourself with the fear before continuing with this video, so you post this one and then you go check it. There is a card that will be showing right here in the left corner, I guess. So number one, understand your style. First thing first, understanding your style. What type of style of communicator you are? Do you find it easy using presentation? Do you find it easy reading from a note like a speech? Do you find it easy talking straight from your head, from your heart? Are you a storyteller? Are you a playful or dead serious person? If you know what is your style, use that to your strengths because that's who you are. To be a great presenter, a public speaker, you need to be natural too. Do your homework. You are invited to give a talk or present your work at your team meeting or in a conference or tell your story or present something. Do your homework. Do some research about the topic. Find out more about the event you are invited to speak at why you, why you, why somebody else, what contribution they want you to make, find out who is the audience. Number three, write your speech. This one is simple and straightforward. Write your own speech. And then if you want to improve it, then ask someone else, else to help you to improve the draft. But that's how you perfect your writing. Why not write? many versions, more than one version. I do that. And if you have time, do it. And then deliver the one you like the most. Find a routine that help you get inspired and unlock your creativity. Four, prepare, 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 and prepare some more. Nothing more to say about this. Number five, imagine and visualize. An element of preparation is to rehearse the speech in your mind and see yourself delivering it. See the audience react to it. All that in your head alone. By visualizing, you can see yourself delivering the speech the way that you want it to be delivered. You can see the audience react to it. You can see people motivated. See yourself enjoying the talk. And when you are doing that in a real setting, your memory will come to play to help you to do exactly as you have visualized it. The other real strength of visualization is to imagine all the things that will or won't ever happen or that you don't want to happen. It is easy for fear to creep in if you just don't know what's going to play out. But if you have already thought through all those different scenarios, the what if and what but, I think there's less room to be afraid. Number six, practice makes perfect. Well, you prepare and prepare in your home, in your shower, wherever, but practice is key to get you out of the comfort zone to the real world. You know, start small if you like. Talk more in your meetings. You know, next one, have a toast at your friend or family member's birthday, or ask a question at the event you attend. Do something in a public setting. It is that practice that will help you perfect your public speaking skill. Being afraid and not trying, you will never conquer the fear. Success begot success. Number seven, differentiate between legitimate fear and unfounded anxiety. You know, we need to differentiate between real and justified fear and what is just a vague anxiety. Public speaking can feel like you are going to die. It can be super scary. 
But the reality is that you are not in any danger. And crucially, with the point we have covered, and with a good preparation, you don't feel like you are in danger anymore. As you do more, as you learn all the in and out of your strength of speaking and play with that, you will be less and less fearful. Number eight, before speaking, we all feel a degree of nervousness in the build up, but you can convince yourself that you had adequately prepared you feel calm, and as soon as you step on that podium to speak, you are relaxed. A lot of time you can be worried about something, stressed about something forever. But once you commit yourself 100%, then it suddenly becomes pretty relaxing because the decision has been made. There's no more hesitation, there's no more doubt. All that left is just to go out and see it through. Number nine, it is no fear itself, but how you react to it, that is really matter. I believe that we have natural tendency to be ruled by fear because we don't experience real fear very often. In modern life, it's too safe. This means that when we do experience the emotion, it can be overwhelming. And that's when everything falls apart. We have to remember that fear is a physiological response. Your body is sending you a signal in the same way that hunger is signaling you that it's time to eat. We don't let this urge take over, do we? So why should we give fear so much sway? With fear, your body is telling you something, but whether you choose to act on it or not is up to you. It doesn't need to rule you. Public speaking can help you advance your career, grow your business, promote ideas, and motivate people to take action on issues that help them directly or the society as a whole. It can present you as a leader or an influencer. Whether that's speaking in a conference, a small meeting, doing an interview for TV or YouTube or Facebook videos are all form of public speaking or stage. Nowadays, you don't need an invitation for a big platform to convey your message and motivate others. YouTube and Facebook are great platform to use too. In the part three video, we explore tips and techniques to master your fear of being in front of the camera. Stay tuned, subscribe now, and press the bell next to it not to miss the next video. I mean, God bless you and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.